Hello boys and girls, nice to see you again. Well today I'm going to read a story about Belinda. And Belinda is a cow. And here she is. She looks a very fine cow. The story is written and illustrated by Pamela Allen. And let's find out what happens to the cow in the story. There she is, Belinda's running. <laughs> oh, looks like someone is coming to milk. Belinda. And she has a bucket. Bessie and old Tom live in the country. Early every morning old Tom works in his garden. There is always plenty to do. He grows cucumbers and carrots. He grows pumpkins and parsley. He grows beetroot and beans and lots of other vegetables. Early every morning, Bessie milks Belinda the cow. There is always plenty of milk. She gives some to the dog. She gives some to the cat. She puts some aside for old Tom and herself. With the cream, she makes the butter for their bread and the skimmed milk she gives to the pig. Ah, she's leaving. One day, Bessie packed her bag, put on her hat and coat, and went to stay with her daughter, who lived in the city. She left old Tom to milk Belinda the cow, make the butter, and feed the dog, the cat, and the pig. Old Tom got up very, very early. He took the bucket and the stool and set out to find Belinda. Belinda was chewing in the far corner of the paddock, which is the field. He sat on the stool and placed the bucket carefully between his knees. Gently, he put his hand on her teat. There's a good girl, he crooned. And, uh-oh. Belinda gave one almighty kick. <gasps> oh dear, poor old Tom. Old Tom flew high in the air and landed with a thud in the mud. Dear, dear. Belinda was off and old Tom was after her. Around and around they went, mooing and trotting, mooing and trotting, around and around and around they went until old Tom was quite out of breath. What was old Tom to do? There would be no milk for the dog, no milk for the cat, no milk for the pig, no milk for old Tom, and no butter for his bread. What was old Tom to do? Hmm. He went to the shed and took a rope from the wall. Then he went to his garden and pulled up the biggest, fattest carrot he could find. With these, he set out to catch Belinda. Well, I wonder if she's going to be caught. Moo, crooned old Tom. There's a pretty girl, fat carrot, fat carrot. Come, come to old Tom, there's a good girl. Moo answered Belinda, as she cautiously, carefully inched towards the carrot. <gasps> what was going to happen? Oh. Moo! bellowed Belinda, as she snatched the carrot from old Tom's outstretched hand. Oh! cried old Tom, as he landed with a third in the mud. Belinda took off, and old Tom took off after her. Around and around they went, mooing and trotting, mooing and trotting, around and around and around they went, until old Tom was quite out of breath. Now, what was old Tom to do? If he couldn't catch Belinda, he couldn't milk Belinda. And if he couldn't milk Belinda, there would be no milk for the dog, no milk for the cat, no milk for the pig, no milk for old Tom, and no butter for his bread. What 
was old Tom to do? He thought and thought and thought and thought and thought. <gasps> At last he stood up and strode into the house. He must have an idea. Look, he took Bessie's pink dress from the wardrobe and put it on. The dress was too big, so he put a pillow from the bed and pulled and pushed and stuffed and shoved until at last the pillow was with him inside the dress. Then he tied Bessie's apron firmly around his middle to hold everything in place. Mm. He put on Bessie's big straw hat and pulled on Bessie's big rubber boots. In this disguise he set out to milk Belinda. Well, I wonder if it's going to work. Belinda was chewing in the far corner of the paddock. She looked up, blinked, then went on chewing. Quietly, old Tom came closer and closer. He sat on the stool. He placed the bucket carefully between his knees. Gently, he put his hand on her teat. This time, old Tom didn't say a word. He squeezed. A warm white spray made a ping in the empty bucket. He tried again. Squirt, 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 squirt. The milk crept up and up until the bucket was full and no more milk would come. Ha <laughs> ha. Now there was plenty of milk. There was milk for the dog. There was milk for the cat. There was milk for old Tom and cream to make the butter for his bread. There was even plenty of skim milk left for the pig. When Bessie came home, she wondered how her pink dress came to have mud on the hem. She almost said, who's been wearing my dress? But old Tom had been the only one at home and it couldn't have been old Tom, could it? Well, I think we know that it could. And there's the back cover, and there's the back and front cover, and there's the front cover. Belinda. What a wonderful cow. And a great story by Pamela Allen. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon. Goodbye.